Hey there you guys, welcome back. I'm going to be making a, a couple of update videos on my orchids, but then I'm also going to be doing a uh, an altogether, this is what I have, because I've had a bunch of you uh, ask me what uh, what's growing in my in my orchid collection. As you know, things have been growing pretty pretty quickly. I mean in quantity, not necessarily in size, but uh, of plants, but uh, yeah, I've, I've acquired a lot of new orchids, and you want to see what I have and, and how they're doing. So I'll do an update on those, but first, I want to show you this uh, butterfly orchid. It is beautiful. At first I wondered why they called it a butterfly orchid, because uh, to me, when I saw it at first glance, it didn't really look like a butterfly. But as you can see, it looks like the petals, look like uh, the wings, and these are the antenna. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. So as you probably know, this was a $5 orchid for me. It was on the clearance rack. And uh, yeah, since it's a sequential bloomer, it has, uh, let me go to the back of the stem here, mind my kitchen and all the magnets. Uh, let me go the other way. I can't really see it there. Sorry for the camera work. There's my outside. Okay, I can't really see it from there either. There should be a new bud starting uh, right at the base of this one. So once this one's finished, it will start again and give me a new flower. It's a rainy, rainy day outside as you can see. Things are looking lovely though. So I'll trail you down here to the, to the, uh, the pot level. And uh, everything is looking fine down here. I haven't transplanted it. it uh, the recommendation is if you transplant it, that you should cut off the flower spikes so that it focuses on uh, putting out new roots and, and adjusting to the pot um, more than, than uh, dealing with, with its uh, production of bloom. So I, uh, I opted to keep it in the moss. I'm just uh, monitoring the, uh, the soil dryness or the moss dryness. Um, these are relatives of the Oncidium orchid so they will like well, they like to dry down a little bit between waterings. They don't want to stay constantly moist, so I'm just I'm constantly checking it to see whether it's it's okay or not. So far, so good. Uh, I'm noticing that the moss also is packed in like concrete, so um, that's promising. It allows a little bit more, bit more airflow in there. As you can see, we have the new growth that's coming out, looking really healthy. The other leaves look very healthy, very firm. Um, these are going to take uh, uh, high indirect sunlight, so uh, that's what I've been giving it. I moved it down here because I'm going to do the uh, all of my uh, my uh, other orchids that I have. I'm going to put them all on the kitchen table, so I've just brought this one down first while it's in bloom, so that people can enjoy it when they come into my living room. But anyway, this is the Psychopsis orchid, Psychopsis papilo. Wish, uh, there we go, as it flies over here, there's my living room. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful bloom. Anyway, uh, stay tuned for more orchid updates. Anyway, happy growing everyone.